out of the Shadow Fury because it's just breaking pretty fast to the mage, and they're not really having any offensive, offensive pressure as is, so it's yeah. pretty rough. Well, all right, we are going to go right into the picks and the bands here. Locking in instantly. It is going to be uh, BM Hunter banned out once again by Mushroom Company. Frost Mage once again banned here by Triple USA. So uh, first bands to start things off. Uh, we'll find out if it's going to be the same picks as well uh, that are going to pop out here. But I don't know, man. Um, I don't know. I think we're probably going to see something changing from Shadow Play because it just looked like it was really hard for them to get a kill. And if you're yeah. going to a series and you know it's like really tough for you to get killed, it's not really the best because yeah. after losing a series, it's really important to get that there first game is. and try to get a kill fast. Yeah, the DK is going to be the first pick here. So uh, <laughs> it's kind of funny. These two teams pick up players from our, from our division, you know, the yeah. clearly the superior, more yeah, handsome the division. Superior division. The more handsome, more, more handsome. intelligent, more, uh, you know, just the awesome yeah. division. And, um, you know, Mystic giving the carry to the other division, and now Vanya going to come in here, and he's going to try to give a carry to the other division <laughs> as well. Uh, we'll see, man. We'll see. Maybe our division is just going to have 100% win in their division. Uh, I think our, I think our division is the best division. Yeah, our division is the best division. Yeah, There's so. no other division. Yeah, yeah. yeah there you go. Division B? I don't even know which division are we again. Are we A? We're, we're red. We're red, and they're blue. Red division? Okay. Red is, like, yeah. you know, like, aggressive and, like, manly yeah. and stuff, and blue is, like, I don't know. I don't even know. Color. Yeah, yeah, there you yeah. go. I mean, I was thinking it, but I didn't want to say it. But, oh, you know, I'm glad someone did. I'm glad someone yeah. did. Um, all right, so uh, it is going to be Ellie Shaman pinned out there, um, you know, by Mushroom Company. So they're saying, you know, screw that. You're not playing Double Shaman again. And we are going to have uh, that Affliction Warlock being banned out by USA, USA, USA. So I think we're probably just going to see Kaluminati coming out again. It's probably going to be Shadow Priest. Uh, Unholy DK Resto Shaman, which is a comp that um, you know Vanya had had great success with uh, when he was playing with Cool Story yesterday. Yeah, I mean definitely like that Shadow Priest Resto Shaman DK seems like a very strong comp. I'm gonna have to be interesting to see if they can do the same or if uh, if group uh, red is just too strong. But yeah, we'll have to see how uh, good they can do is this type of um, DK Shadow Priest versus this Resto Shaman team. I think yeah. Ban in the Ellie was a smart choice, not wanting to play against someone that can just. Well, I mean, it really, it's it's just drummer. it's just trying to ban out the red player, the player from the red division. Oh, it's just trying to ban out the player. From the red yeah, division. it's it has nothing to do with the class. I mean, it's just if you let someone in from the red division, then you're probably gonna lose. So it's you know, yeah. you just gotta yeah. ban them out. Maybe maybe we're gonna be start getting asked by this uh, blue division, like change over teams. Yeah, stuff. I mean, it could all man. of a sudden. Yeah. All right. Well, this should be a good game. Source of Shaman Shadow Priest versus DK Shadow Priest. It could it could also it could end up being a mirror. Hax actually plays DK. Uh, you know, oh, maybe maybe they're just gonna, you know, throw it down oh, on the okay. table and say my balls are bigger than yours and just go for the mirror. Um, I mean but it, it'd be interesting to see. Yeah. A mirror. I was I haven't actually ever seen a Shadow Priest Death Knight mirror. Nope. I think they'd probably be training the each other Shadow Priest and swap. Feral comes out. Them. So it's gonna be Haxon on the Feral, I think, or maybe does Mystic play Feral? Maybe it's still a red player. I don't know. I don't um, know. I have no idea who the heck's playing this. I don't know game. who who's the feral. Maybe it's Mystic, and maybe they managed to sneak that red player in there, man. Perhaps. I mean, that'd, that'd be very interesting. It was Mystic. We just see red players all over the place. Yeah, there's just red. It's just red vision versus red division. Yep. I don't. I don't even know why there's a blue division. I don't know. We should, really. just, we should just whoever wins red division should just get the money. Yeah, I think so too. I would, I'd be that cool would with make that. sense. Yeah, it would make sense. It's, I mean, I see nothing wrong with it. So. Um, okay. Um, so Shadow Priest Feral is very strong. I think a lot stronger than Shadow Priest DK is now with the Feral Jude like off heals and decurses and just the raw damage and CC up what they have. I believe it's a lot stronger than the Death Knight version. But I think the Death Knight team should definitely be probably either turning to the Feral Jude and then maybe trying to swap onto the Shaman because the way it works, like every thirty seconds you can just asphyxiate the Feral and it really stops the pressure that's going from them and plus DKs actually do take a pretty big dump on Feral Judes. They always have. Yeah, I mean DKs do good damage, man. That they've always they do really good damage, and you know no one no one denies that. It's their it's their survivability and their utility that is lacking compared to some of the other you know some of the other classes, um, you know because they they do not have the, the kind of healing and the as, as strong peels and stuff as some of the other classes. So um, anyway, we'll find out, um, you know, and you know if it is if it is Mystic on that Feral Druid, then that is going to make sense. You know, if that team wins, then. You know, yeah. it's, it's the it full-on carry from the Red Division, yeah. and that's both it's, serious. It's been proven. Yeah. <laughs> so we're it's just been mathematically proven that Red Division is just stronger. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually ask and see who it is on that. Um, let's find I'll out. change my AL menu to, like, the actual names of the people, because everyone just names themselves differently. You can't call them by their names. Yeah. yeah. You have to fix all that. All right. 
So it's going to be uh, Tabaretta, that is my homer. We got Kaluminati in here still, and it's going to be Namex swapping out for Vanya DK. Vanya Dorotar. So Nagrand Arena will be that first map, as always. Um, we're going to be getting this going, and USA, 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 it does have that 1 0 series lead, so they're looking good. And, um, you know, Mushroom Company going to have to win two straight here, two straight uh, series if they want to be able to uh, to get back. Um, and I mean, this is this is important for USA, USA, USA. They're actually like right on the cusp. They have um, only two games remaining, two series remaining, and they are at six points in their division, and they're in they're in fourth place. They're just ahead of Riles' team, so really they're hoping and praying that they beat Mushroom Company, and that Mushroom Company beats Riles' team. That is really what they're looking for here, um, because Riles' team is uh, one point back right now, um, with one less game played. So. You know, they definitely need this win, and they need to get all the wins they can get. They only have two series remaining, so USA, USA has to win out if they really want much of a chance of getting in that top four. Yeah, this is actually the really big thing with the tournament. Like, it's actually really interesting how, like, it can work out, because no other tournament really had this many, like, teams in a single bracket playing around Robin to yeah. get out. And so there's a lot of possibilities to get out. But, yeah, definitely if Russian Company does end up uh, losing this and then beating the uh, Riles team, they can definitely make it. Yeah. Um, and I mean, I have confirmed that it is Haxon, so. Or not Haxon, not Haxon, sorry, it's Mystic. So both teams are uh, are receiving that that, uh, that, <laughs> that red division carry, you know? So it's hard to know because the red division uh, godliness is just kind of canceling each other out, so. You yeah. know? Uh, maybe it will, and then we'll have to see who the better other players on the team. Yeah. Yeah, maybe maybe they'll actually, you know, they'll come into, they'll come into play here. Maybe they'll they'll have some effect on it. I'm not sure. All right, time to have to set up this AL thing on the other team. All right. Well, we are gonna we are gonna be uh, getting on into this game. <laughs> so someone in chat is just so mad. It's this asshole commentators. I can't believe they're saying this. It's so ridiculous. <laughs> How can you think that one division is superior? This is this is just completely ridiculous. They should be fired. Oh. I don't <laughs> I don't know, man. I mean, we're just saying the truth. <laughs> yeah, I know. I mean, just being honest here, guys. There's, I mean, we're not tr we're not trying to mess around with you guys. We're not being sarcastic. We're just, we're just dropping. Saying how it is. Yeah, we're just saying it like it is, man. We're just, we're just being honest. And I mean, that that EG team. I don't know if you've heard of them, but oh my god, they're awesome. Have you seen them play? Wow, fantastic. I've seen them play a couple times. So good, aren't they? Just oh, they're so they're just amazing. Every uh, time I watch them, I mean, like I'm shaking. Oh uh, yeah, I mean, I just uh, woof. My favorite team by far. I don't know about you guys, but anyway, um, we are going to be having this. It is going to be uh, the second best of three. Mushroom Company going up against USA, USA, USA. Let's find out if uh, the Triple USA is going to be able to take it for America. Uh, well, I mean, that's actually interesting. They're actually European. Oh, they're the USA. No, no, no. The they, they have USA in the name, so they're from America. We've claimed them. We've we've claimed them for our own. We've claimed them for our own. They've been assimilated. Even though we're both Canadian, we've claimed them for America. It doesn't matter. We've claimed them for America. They've been assimilated. All right. So this is Feral Dude coming in. Looks like his target's going to be the Death Knight. I'm not sure if I necessarily agree with this. Death Knights are pretty tough to kill. With blood presence and conversion as a melee DPS, but we see a silence instantly coming out of the Moo Homer. He's going to be able to sit that Death Knight at 30, 50 percent. Full clone coming out. Maybe we see him dipping low. There comes the AMS. Might break instantly through the Shadow Priest. We'll have to see. Many of your are dipping really low. Mystic going hard, but I guess he's going to a full cycle. So I guess uh. Great steal there from the uh, Death Knight. Dipping out of Dope, 22%. 50% Death Pack does come up with Icebound Fortitude. Every defensive cooldown coming from the Death Knight gets put into the Psychic Wars. Maybe this was the best target, but if you see a, do see a switch over to Carbs, dispels his dots, dipping around 40% behind the pillar, seems to be just fine. DK pulling back. So we see a lot of dead, like defensive cooldowns already coming out from the Shadow Priest DK team, and not really too much coming out from this Grail team, so it's a really good start for them. Yeah, I mean, Lichborn has to be used there as well. Muhomer going to trigger that clone. Uh, Vanya may actually just go down here as he was roared on that. Tree and stun off that. Now there's a full silence. Vanya Duratar in so much trouble. This Feral Druid uh, doing work here. Uh, and he's going to be put into the S68. We do see that Halo coming out there from Kluminati. Trying to get that max damage Halo and the big heal. And he does land it. That was basically perfectly max range. So that was a huge Halo heal. But Muhomer going to be put into another full clone. Uh, Vanya in so much trouble. AMS comes up. But I don't think it's going to be enough. 10% HP. Uh, the shield goes up. That's going to break instantly. He's now out of that. He's going to go to two. 
2% HP. Muhomer does land a heal there. Prof's not going to be silenced as they're just trying to reduce as much damage as possible. But uh, Vanya is just getting rocked right now. Muhomer is going to have to pick him back up. Uh, you know, they have not forced Dispersal really anything too much here. They have gotten the trinket from Profset, but I mean Vanya pushing in here. He's going to be in a lot of trouble. Now a roar comes out into the hex. He's going to be stuck in that full. There's no decurse for him. Uh, Vanya needs to get out of there. He needs to reduce as much damage as possible. Maybe you know try to use those asphyxiates onto the feral instead. Life grip comes out, but is that going to be enough? I don't think so. 10% HP. The link is going to need to be used immediately if he gets out of it. 9% HP. Link goes down just in time. The fear a split second too late as that DP comes in. We would have finished him off, but not going to be able to just yet. Now at 30% HP. Going to be into the pounce. The DK in so much trouble. Uh, just hardly able to stay alive here so far at 10% HP, 3% HP, he's going to go down and Mushroom Company get absolutely smoked in that game and uh, they needed that win. Yeah, definitely. Pharaoh do Shadow Priest just never letting that Shaman really leave his CC chain ever to able to pick up his Death Knight. That is one thing about Feral Dude Rest or Shadow Priest is you do do like some of the most burst damage on one target in a game and there's just nothing he could really do. Like he was playing defensive the entire time. They got no offensive pressure, and when the shaman doesn't have a trinket and shadow priest is a silence, and you can get a hex and feral does it all as you see, it's pretty rough to try to catch back up after that point. Yeah, I'm not really sure what they can really change, honestly. Versus that, it looked really, really difficult, and they didn't really have much time to kind of figure it out either. I'll have to see what they do this next time. Yeah, but I mean, it looked really, really difficult. The DK, it's like if you, if a team can just tunnel your DK like that, there's not much your DK can really. Like, what do you really do? I mean, uh, yeah. he's he, it's not like there's anywhere for him to run. He, he has so much m less mobility than, than the Feral Druid does. So if the Feral Druid can just toe-to-toe -to -toe the DK, then that looks brutal, man. So Yeah, um, I think they have to get fears on the Feral Druid. That's yeah. the one thing that they're going to have to start doing is fearing the Feral Druid and covering it with a Strangulate or a, or rather, probably a Fixiate. He's yeah. playing a Fixiate or a Silence on the, sh on the Shaman. Do you, think they, could just, do you think they could just, do you think the DK could just turn on the Feral and just kind of face up on him and just try to, like, Use all asphyxiates on him and maybe try to force him off a little bit? Yeah, you could definitely do either one of those two things, I'm sure. But the only thing is, if there's no CC on the rest of Shaman, they don't really have that much CC. Fears are never really going to sit. All they have would be is a silence. Um, it would depend if they could get a kill during that or force enough pressure to get the Feral Dude defensive. I'll have to see Yeah. what, what their strategy But they definitely have to change something because they didn't really do too much last game. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think that uh, they're going to be able to go for the Shadow Priest again at all. I don't think there's really any chance of that working out for them after watching that first game. So they're going to have to make, you know, a big uh, swap in their strategy here. And Grand is going to be the choice again. So obviously, you know, not thinking that the map is the issue whatsoever. Um, and I mean, I, I think in a matchup like this, does, does, the, does the map even really matter? It doesn't seem like it. I mean, it's very similar. It's Shadow Priest, you know, Resto Shaman, Melee. So I think that map is not going to really play a big part here uh, at all for this DK team. Yeah, you know, maybe the feral so team would, maybe, would maybe the feral team would like a two level map for knockoffs or something, but I don't really think it matters. No, I don't think it matters too much unless uh, runes could be interesting. I think mm. it could go well for the DK team on runes. Just try to rush down DK, the yeah, shaman or something. Yeah, just try to rush down the shaman. Yeah, yeah just actually run through shaman the entire time. Yeah, but we'll have to see. I guess that's not what they're going to go for because they are going back to Negran Arena and the gates have open. Yeah. But yeah. It, the Feral Druid Shadow Priest is one of the strongest comps in the game right now, no doubt, and DK is obviously worse than Feral Druid, so yeah. obviously a comp advantage, but I think that they can do it if they if they play correctly and get the right cross CC chains out and the right damage, I mean, anything can happen. Yeah, I mean, they're just going to have to try to really uh, make no mistakes, they're going to have to play their, their very best. Uh, you know, and use that proper strategy. But yeah, that, that's the kind of the one of the things that happens a lot of the time. And you know, with, with the balance, when one, when one class is really really strong, all the others kind of start looking kind of not so good compared to them. You know, it's like uh, DKs are good, but you, you know, why would you want a DK instead of a feral? That's kind of the thing. So it's it's like it yeah. ends up in this in this situation where you know the feral is obviously the superior class here, but. Um, you know, maybe Mushroom Company can make something work. You know, DKs do have crazy offensive pressure if you're able to kind of stay connected onto that target. Yeah. DKs do have insane pressure. That's what I was saying. Like, you didn't really do any insane damage that game. Like, that's what you need to do. You need to get those, like, the enemy team defensive. Otherwise, you're just running the entire time in blood presence and conversion yeah. and not really able to do too much. So, yeah, definitely what you were saying. Either turn it on to the Feral with just spamming every asphyxiate into him. Because it is undispellable five seconds done. So, he's going to have to sit unless he has a trinket. So. That could also cause like a lot of change in momentum for them, perhaps. We'll have to see. Yep. All right. So, guys, um, we are going to be getting this started off. 
and uh, it is going to be Mushroom Company versus USA, 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 uh, USA, USA, USA is at match point now. This is the whole series on the line here for Mushroom Company. They have to win two straight in the series, and then they're going to have to win the next best of three as well if they can do that. Uh, it's, it's looking rough after that first game, you know. If I was USA, 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 I'd be feeling pretty damn confident at this point, I have to say. I would too after that game after the show like display of what kind of happened last game it sort of happened for like the last series too like they kind of figure it out and then they just kind of won yeah. right away so we'll have to see what they do I'm assuming the same strat's going to come out of this girl you're probably going to see the open up on that death knight and there it is he gets on that death knight doesn't get the pounce but that's alright starting to apply bleeds death knights instantly but they're still seeing them going hard on this s priest there comes the silence fear onto the shadow priest it's going to be noticeable from that really good job by him to get that full fear silence cross the seat the priest doesn't have a trigger that but very near to tire already down to 40% having to use his AMS DP is in, but it's going to be completely absorbed. And yeah. pulls full blades and a hex onto the Shadow Priest. They did. Uh, they did force that trinket from Feral Druid, though. I mean, he is sitting on the Feral, and he did force the trinket with the first asphyxiate of the game. There's the silence on zero. The hero Mystic actually in a little bit of trouble now. Uh, he's gonna. Well, I don't even know. Is he hurt while healing or something? Oh no, it must have been a healing tie behind the pillar or something. But anyway, um, you know, he was down to about half HP. He's actually taking a decent amount of damage. Move Homer though is cloned on his trinket. Uh, DP comes out again on Benny Durtar. He could actually just die instantly here. 30% HP. Um, he's in a lot of trouble. Move Homer is gonna have to pop that aura mastery. Uh, he's trying to go for the heal, but there's the tree and sun coming in. Lichborn heals coming out. There's the roar on him disarm off that he's trying to get over there he's probably gonna have to use the spirit link now he's full silence he's hexed as well the cc does not end they're overlapping a lot but does it even matter um it looks like fanny jartar will be able to live for now as a result of all that overlap but mystic is gonna pop the ns the ns clone comes out again on the homer and uh, as soon as you know he is out of that cc he's into another uh Vanya down to half hp now there's a full fear on the new homer he's gonna have to tremor that uh, they are you know getting some sort of pressure though look at zero the hero's man actually he's purging so much that he's almost oom he's at 30 percent so if they can stabilize, uh, they are getting some damage here on a Mystic, and a Mystic down about 70%. You know, still has all his defenses remaining, though. Um, we are going to see, uh, you know, Muhomer pulling back here. He's full mana, but you know, partly because he never gets to play his character. He's into the roar. He's going to be full hexed off that. Nothing he can do to avoid it. There's a life grip on Vanya. Vanya down 30% HP. What does he have left? 5%. Uh, I think he's just dead here. The fear comes in, and that's going to be that, probably. 2% HP. AMS comes up, but 1%. Bleed sticking. He's going to go down, and Triple USA, going to take one for America. Hashtag yeah, freedom. Shadow Priest. Yeah, Feral Dude did have to use some of his defensive cooldowns, but it wasn't really anything major. He was just kind of using them to stay offensive and make sure he was fine while they kept that pressure going. But yeah, the CC chain really did never end. They did overlap the silence on Hex. If they didn't do that, I think the game was actually over much sooner than when it was there. Yeah, that was that was, uh, that was was ugly, man. I got to feel bad yeah. for Mushroom Company. That was not how they wanted that to go. But, you know, the Red Division proving too strong even for yeah. the Red Division. I mean, that wow. is how powerful that's, that they are. That's some inception. I know there is. I mean, it's like, we knew the Red Division was powerful, but we weren't sure how, how it would go down when someone from the Red Division fought someone from the Red Division. But now we know that the Red Division is so strong that, that the Red Division can, Red even, Division can even overpower the Red Division. What does this mean? I don't know. I was this is confusing. So am I, but I mean, we're going to have to find out because that, that, is, that is some crazy stuff there, man. Um, but anyway too strong. Yeah. So it seems Mystic coming in on Feral Druid and on Ellie Shaman just, just wiping up that blue division, man. Yeah. And even yeah. red division. Even the red division, too. I mean, wow. wow. Maybe Mystic's just a god. And we don't yeah, know. maybe he's just... Yeah, who knows? But but Mystic, when he was in the red division, was too was not strong enough for the red division. <laughs> oh, well, when he switches to the blue division, he becomes strong enough. Yeah. Oh, okay. So now I don't even know how it works, man. Maybe maybe the red division needs to like maybe it's like someone needs, someone needs to make a flow chart of the blue division. It could be like division. Power Rangers where you know they have to like combine into like the the like ultimate like the ultimate fighting thing. You know they have to like yeah. combine power. So maybe the red division and the blue division combined to create a, a new more powerful division. The red and blue so like a purple division. It could be. I mean I don't know I don't know if purple I don't even know if that's a real color. I mean purples are it, could I, be imaginary. It could, you could have just made that up. I mean. Do red and blue really make purple? Let's not be ridiculous. I was going to say the red and blue division. You know, I mean, when you combine red and blue, you get red and blue. Oh, okay. I see. The stories don't even intermix. Kind no, of it's just, like, it's like a yin and a yang. It's a red and blue. Yeah, it's, it's a, a yin and, and a yang. You just have red and blue on. It's too powerful. Yeah. Well, I mean, Mystic obviously bringing it up for his team, so that was a good choice by them, even though it's kind of unfair to switch teams and kind of, like, screw your team over, but that's okay. <laughs> well, I anyway. Guess. They, they done Maybe it's going to pay off for him in the end. Who knows? Yep. So let's just see if this good to USA, USA. Yeah, and it's going to... American team. Yeah, the strong team, you know, representing representing uh, America. So uh, very good stuff from them.
Man, I wish I was on Team Canada. Yeah, me too. I'm pissed. I'm pissed too. I wish that that's just the best team. Yeah, it is. It really is. Okay.